Accents and taps. Can you say taps? Accents, taps. We'll talk also about downbeats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And upbeats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fun shaping rhythm. And also, we're going to learn a new rhythm from Li Liberia called Fanga. Can you say Fanga? That's the rhythm I'm playing here. And we are going to talk about it. Let's go. Okay, let's talk again about shaping rhythms. We've talked in some of the previous videos of how we can shape rhythms, taking a rhythm like sinquillo, changing it up with some stickings, with tones, with dynamics, tempo, etc., etc., so on and so on. So. Let's talk again about how we can shape these rhythms with a thing we call accents and taps. Can you please say accents and taps? Accents and taps are when we combine these two sounds, taps being these low sounds, accents being low sounds. So let us first look at low taps. Please say low taps. So the rhythm we are playing are 16th notes. And for each beat, one, two, three, four, we're going to play four 16th notes with a single sticking. I will show you first. Go ahead and count with me. One, two, ready, and count. One, two, three, four, and stop one more time. Already, tap and count. One, two, three, four, and stop. Great job. Let's talk downbeats and upbeats. First, can you please say downbeats and upbeats? And downbeats and upbeats refer to how we play on a rhythm. A downbeat would be one, two, three, four. Upbeat would be three, four, one, two, three, four. And so on and so on. With that, let us first try to count the eighth note. Can you please say eighth note? And eighth note, we will count its two, two notes per beat. And we will count it like this. One and two and three and four and one two clap and count eight notes one and two and three and four and again two listen to the cow bell so one and two and three and four and stop great so we're counting and clapping the eighth note now let us play low tap 16th notes and 16th notes now again are four notes for each beat one two three four we're going to count the eighth note while playing that one measure of just those low taps and the second measure count an accent uh just the downbeats for right now 
We'll keep it nice and easy. Here we go. Ready? Yes, we are. So one, leg taps, ready, low taps, go. So one, and two, and three, and four. Accent the downbeat, and two, and three, and four, and stop. A two, ready, and count out loud the eighth note. Two, and three, and four, accent one, Go and count and two and three and accent down beat one and two and three and four and stop. Nice. Those are down beats. Let us now play the upbeat. We'll again play the low taps one and two and three and four and but now we will play the upbeat accent. Can you play the C? Please. I'll try it first. Can we please say the upbeat accent? Accent? Yes. Diggy, 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 diggy. Um, now, that will work like this. The upbeat is the count we have been calling the and. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. The tempo is the same, the counting is the same, but the accent is now on the upbeat. One cycle of low tap 16th notes, counting one and two and, and then the second cycle we will accent one and two and three and four and, and little secret, your right hand is playing the eighth notes. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, low taps and a ready go. So one and two and three and four. Accent up beats one and two and three and four and again two nicely done already low taps one and two and and counting the eighth now up beat one and two and three and four and stop a two a you know what to do and a one and two and three and four up beat one. Nicely done. So we've talked about downbeat accents, upbeat accents, and we just learned one little exercise. Let us try to tie that all together. Whoa. Now to do that, that just means we're going to play the cycle a total of three times. First, low taps, one, two, three. Or then accent the downbeat, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and stop. Two, uh, you know what to do, let's go. One, and two, and three, and four, downbeats, one, and two, and three, upbeats, and one, and two, and three, and four, and stop. A little faster, a uh, go. Low taps, one. Downbeats one and two, three and four. Upbeats one and two and three and four and stop. A two, a little faster now. Just do so. Low taps two and three and three. Downbeats one and two and three and upbeats and four. Nice one time with us. One and two and three and four and downbeats. That's a cool little exercise, I might say so myself. You can always take them at the tempo that you feel most comfortable with. But accents and taps, downbeats, and upbeats, the combinations are endless. The rhythm we are going to play today is a rhythm that comes to us from the country of Liberia. And Liberia is on the west coast on the continent of Africa. 
And the rhythm we are going to learn is fanga. Can you say fanga? It's the rhythm that accompanies the tune you're probably familiar with. to that tune. All right, let's get going on it. So let's look at the primary rhythm that is used for the fanga. I'm going to play it on the claves. That rhythm is this. One, two, three, four. I'll play it again. Now you clap it with me and go. Great, now let's clap it two times ago. Again. Great, so I'm going to play that rhythm on the conga drum here. It is usually not played on the conga drum, but rather a djembe. Um, but we've got to work with what we've got to work with. So that rhythm, bop, 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 I'm sorry, um, bop, 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 I'm going to play it on the conga drum, and note, I'm using these tones. Bass, open, bass, bass. You are going to join me, and we are going to play it a total of Four times. What? Four times. Bop, 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 Four times. Here we go. Two with me on conga. Two times. Three times. Four times. And stop. Two. A little faster. Four times. Please. Ready four times. Two times. Okay. So if you don't have a conga or a djembe at home, again, ask. I am going to use a can of tomato sauce, a pillow, and a chopstick. Using that same rhythm and thinking about those two tones. If you don't have either a can of tomato sauce, a pillow chopstick, or anything else, we always have our body percussion. So the tones are bass, or low, high, 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 low, low, high, high. Using that, let us play either body percussion or with the uh, pillow and can of tomato sauce. Um, that rhythm two times with those tones. Low, high, 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 low, low, high, high. Here we go. One, two, play it twice. Low. Again. Great. Play it again two times. Low. Great. Now just uh, you go. Again. Nice! Let us play it four times. And I am going to add in our Coca Cola can shaker. Here we go. Boom, ba, 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 boom, boom, ba, ba. Four times. One, uh, two, uh, you know what to do. And boom, ba, 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 boom, boom. Two times, three times, four times, great, two, ready, and go, there it is, fun guy.
from Liberia. Again, I am Dave, Mr. Dave. And with the Living Jazz Children's Project and our rhythm component, thank you again. Have yourself a great week. See you on the next one.